a DJ, a simple demonstration. We're going to start with Ola doing some basic mixing patterns and talking about the different mixing techniques. And then I'm going to move on to uh, microphone work. So I'm going to turn it over to Ola and give him a chance to get Th one down. Thank you, Dina. I, um, I'm Ola, and I'm a DJ. I've been a DJ for over 10 years. And here we're going to give you uh, the basic skill needed to become a DJ. Actually, most of us have DJ skill in us, but we just didn't make it a professional DJ yet. On um, becoming a DJ, you need basic equipment like um, mixer, hard drive, and where to get your music from. Sometimes you can download your music free online, or you can buy it, most of them from iTunes. So um, you, when I talk about the mixer, the mixer as, as DJ, there are some language we use, like crossfading, sync, and cue music. Um, when you talk about crossfading, crossfading means um, bringing the music from deck A to deck, deck B without losing um, the sound quality and without breaking out of music while people are dancing. What I mean by uh, crossfading is, I will show it right here with the, uh, on the virtual DJ. So when, when we crossfading, we have on the, 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 the side channel, which, is, which we usually call deck A. I'm going to play music from here, um, right here. Also, at the same time, I'll be playing another music from deck B, so that when people, white people dancing, I don't stop the dance and the flow continue. So I'm going to play another music from deck B. And at the same time, I'm going to cross fade from deck A into deck B gradually. And you won't feel the difference. And the music continue gradually, gradually until you reach deck B. You can see another music is playing already. So those are the basic skills you uh, require, you need to know to actually become a DJ. Let's stop the music for a minute. So there's something we call sync. Sync, make the music sync together so that both be, the beat per minute can go together without breaking up any music, without one music going loud and one music going low. I can't actually explain everything today. You guys can make research on YouTube or online. So I will hand over the, uh, the basic training to Dennis Scott to explain more about the use of microphone and other stuff required to become a DJ. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ola. Um, another very important factor in when you're trying to DJ an event is the microphone. A lot of people uh, are afraid to get behind a mic, and it's really required if you're going to be a successful DJ to know how to use the microphone. As a DJ, aside from music, your voice is your most powerful tool you can use. It helps you interact with the crowd, uh, make announcements at, say, weddings. So it's important you always speak in a very clear, precise voice so you can convey your message to your audience and as well as get them involved. Um, when talking on the microphone, um, a lot, you might see on TV, reporters hold the microphone down here. But when you're DJing events, it's important to have the microphone placed about chin level and set your levels from the microphone chin level. That way, the sound coming out of your speakers is equally distributed throughout the, the venue. Everyone can hear what you're saying clearly, and you don't get any bad feedback or anything from the microphone being too close to anything else besides your own, your own voice. Um, other than that, you know, it's important to use inflection when making announcements. Don't always say everything in a monotone voice. You want to have you know, inflections in your voice so you're, you're not saying the same thing over and over again, and you're not saying it the same way over and over again. So you want your personality to shine through. And hopefully, if you're a DJ, you have a personality. But you definitely want your personality to shine through as well when you're, when you're announcing things and getting your crowd going. So just as important as the music, maybe not as important as the music, but definitely important to know how to use the microphone to make sure it's a, a, a complete success at your event. And to add to that, and also when you, de when you, when you are a DJ to become a successful DJ, you need to know your crowd, and you need to play what they want, not what you want. That's all I yeah. think we have for today. Yeah. Uh, once again, I'm Dana. This is Ola, and we'll see you next time for Massasoit. Thank you. That's a wrap. I think that was good.